where the Chesapeake Bay ends, you'll find fourth generation ship fixer Ryan Lynch. When your kids ask you what you do, what do you tell them? Yeah, uh, fix boats, big boats. General Ship Repair has been repairing all kinds of ships for a century. Ship malfunctions are, you know, more common than people think. Page through the U.S. Coast Guard's incident investigations like we did, and you'll see how common they are. Since March 26th, the day the Dolly took down Baltimore's Key Bridge, the Coast Guard documented 201 ships that lost power, lost propulsion, lost steering, or suffered equipment failure. It's not uncommon to, to have a blackout, you know, to lose power. I think it just happened at the very worst time. Adrift ships rarely take down a bridge like the Dolly did, but the Coast Guard's records show hundreds run aground, sink, or damage bridge support structures every year. Good morning, Chairman Graves, Ranking Member Larson, and members of the committee. When she testified before Congress in May, the National Transportation Safety Board's chair gave members a direct warning. This could happen in any of your districts. The Coast Guard has documented ship malfunctions and bridge strikes across the country, but more than 100 cargo ships have lost control in the Chesapeake Bay since 2010, some close to or beneath the capital region's busiest bridges. In August 2017, the Jay Sheng Shan lost propulsion when the main engine failed alongside one of the Bay Bridge's piers. In March 2020, the Masaryk Shams experienced a loss of propulsion in the vicinity of the Bay Bridge. The day before the Dolly crashed, on March 25th, the Summer Sea lost propulsion in Virginia's Hampton Roads Waterway. This is where the Chesapeake Bay empties into the Atlantic Ocean. Now this is just a sample of all of the ships that have lost power or control. Right now, the Coast Guard records, they don't show the Dolly listed. They don't show some of the more recent cases of ships that have lost power. We had to use marine tracking data in order to find this one, the Bella Via, which left the port of Baltimore for 27 minutes. This is on July 1st. Maryland officials say that the ship was able to return under its own power for repairs. That's the latest from Washington. I'm Mitch Blocker. We'll send it back to you.